you started out doing a soap opera. Yeah. Which soap opera was it? Guiding Light. Okay. And on Guiding Light, you had a pretty insane plot line. Now, I did. that's true of a lot of soap operas, but yours felt like it was particularly strange. It was, I mean, I knew I wasn't going to be there for very long, or I didn't plan to be there for very long. So I went to the writers early on. I said, give me the craziest storyline you can in the next year. And they obliged. Uh, I was a trust fund baby who bet his, his fraternity brothers that he could be the first to deflower the town virgin. Of course, then fell in love with her, and she found out about my plot and dumped me. Uh, got a new girlfriend. Uh, and then I lost my trust fund and turned to the only thing that anyone who loses their trust fund can, which is male prostitution. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, you know how it is. We've all been there. We've all been there. We've all been there. Right? Very relatable. Yeah. Um, she found out about my, my prostitution gig, dumped me. I went crazy, killed four people, kidnapped her to a remote <laughs> cabin in the woods, confessed that I'd been molested by my female teacher in, when I was a kid, which was very topical at the time and then uh, committed suicide by injecting myself with a needle full of uh, insulin in front of her, her father, and her new boyfriend. And then hung on one extra day in the hospital to confess my sins and apologize. But my favorite part of the whole thing <laughs> was that literally- So far, I see no flaw in this thing. <laughs> it could happen in a year. Yeah. Be careful of the choices you make. But my favorite thing was right after I flatlined, the writers came up to me, and like right after they called cut, and were like, if you ever want to come back, <laughs> we've got it figured out. Of course they do. And I've always wanted to know, like, how? Twin. So if you're out there, twin. let me know yeah. how. It's probably a twin. It's probably a twin. <laughs>